Mike Thackwell, can you've been around the track this morning. What are the conditions like? Well, it's pretty treacherous. I think uh, uh, if we start the race, we're all going to go off. But we, I think we've got to start. People are coming to watch. It's very, very slippery, very, very dangerous. But uh, that's what motor racing is about. So I think we should start. Now, do you think the Jaguars are going to be an advantage in, in these conditions? Oh, I think when the, we've got the puddles like we got today, if it dried out a bit, we'd be looking good. But the puddles, I think it's anyone's match. Uh, Steve Soper, um, how did you find the track this morning when you were going around? Yes, uh, obviously very treacherous, but it's the, uh, it's the same for everyone. It's no problem. If they want to start, I'll start. Oh, now, you've raced in conditions like this in saloon cars. Uh, is it going to be that different in sports cars? Yeah, I think the saloon car seems to have more grip and more traction. The Group C car doesn't seem to go at all where you want it. You're a passenger most of the time. Jackie, you and York can have to win these two races if you have a chance of, of getting the championship. So will you be going all out today? But I think that's not the question really uh, today. Uh, it's not a matter of points or time. It's just a matter that uh, the race conditions are so poor that there is no question to start. So we are not balancing at all the problem of championship or not. The point is only safety and at the moment we will have to discuss with the organizer sooner or later the problem of the departure or not. Will you refuse to race? Well, at the moment, I must say they have been fairly uh, fair. There is uh, different drivers. Uh, different drivers will give their opinions before uh, the start about the track conditions. I think there is um, they are anti-air. There is a Japanese driver. There is a C2 driver. There is myself. And I'm sure if the conditions are good enough, well, even if it's no fun at all for uh, both parties, uh, the start is going to be. Uh, the car's now getting away behind the pace car for 10 full laps of the circuit, but conditions still absolutely atrocious. The mist seems to come and go within the space of two or three minutes. The lead car, well, for him it wouldn't be quite such a problem, but for any of the following cars, with this incredible spray, even at these very slow speeds, well, conditions, as you can see, incredibly dangerous. One of the problems of the circuit here at Fuji, it doesn't drain well at all, with the water standing on the surface. And there you get a very good idea of what it's like behind one of these big ground effect sports cars. And you can see absolutely nothing. Incidentally, the red car, the pace car at the head of the field, is the new Nissan 4X. This is Nissan's new Challenger, in fact, to the might of the Ferrari type sports car market. It's a four wheel drive turbocharged supercar. And as the rain comes down even harder, already at the end of this first pace lap, the number two Rothmans Porsche comes in and the number one car as well. And this therefore will be the moment that both Derek Bell and Hans Stuck will win the 1985 World Endurance Championship. There is a number two car into the pits. Derek Bell did in fact tell me before the start of the event that if he considered the conditions too dangerous, he would come in and stop. And the number one car comes in, that car driven by Jochen Mass, and there the two works Rothmans Porsches stationary in the pits. On the track, the pace car goes round, now leading Hoshino with the March 85G Nissan. And remember, this is part of the race. Despite this being run behind the pace car, these laps will count as part of the 1985 shortened Fuji 1000 kilometers. The Canon Porsche is still out there. And just look at that spray from these cars at such slow speed. And there the covers going over the two Rothmans Porsches. But it does mean that Derek Bell is the first world champion from Great Britain since James Hunt won that here at Fuji, also in atrocious conditions, but not as bad as this. Incidentally, we should also remember that Gordon Spice and Ray Bellum have won the Group C2 World Drivers' Championship, also for Great Britain. But in the more important and prestigious Group C1 class, it's very, very good to see a new British world champion in Derek Bell. And let us not forget that West Germany also has a new world champion, Hans Stuck. The Jaguars now also coming into the pits after four laps. Already in is the Group C Cheetah. And more and more cars coming in as once again the mist 
descends over the circuit. Lights ablaze, and really, what unbelievable conditions. The Canon Porsche is in, both of the Newman Porsches also in, and it would seem that no European cars will start this Japanese event.